Scientific Sue and today's science in item is going to be red cabbage and we are going to use it to do a spell, the Amortentia spell and that's going to allow us to get lots of colour changes, lots of fizzes, do some storytelling and hopefully have lots of laughter on the way. In the kit you are going to get your sachet of your cabbage there are four mixing spoons. You're going to have uh, two pipettes. You're going to have a 60 milliliter mixing bowl, some baking soda, which I'm going to call the horn of bicorn. We're going to have some citric acid, which I'm going to call the dried skin of a basilisk. You're going to have two bottles. One has got some washing up liquid in. That is going to be our liquefied ogres bogies. And this one here is going to contain our dragon's drool. That's the liquid that we're going to get from the cabbage. You will also find in the box the labels to go on the bottles and on the tubs. So first of all, we have to set the scene and we're going to have to make up our dragon's drool. So we're going to need to get one of our spoons and we're going to open up a container of dried cabbage juice. You don't need to use very much, so I'm just going to use a, a heaped spoonful, just that much, and it's going to go into my container there. Close that up. To that then, I am going to add some water. I'm going to put in 25 milliliters of water and I am then going to stir that up. And already we've got a lovely purple juice. When we go buy in this cabbage, it's not called purple cabbage, it's called red cabbage. So already we're realizing there's a little bit of magic going on there. Now, I don't want to have any of the leaves in there, so I'm going to use a small funnel And I'm also going to use <laughs> a tea strainer so I can transfer this into my bottle and then I can label it up as my dragon's drool. If we want to get a darker colour, then we can use more cabbage powder. Uh, if we don't want to have it so dark, then we can use less cabbage powder. The nice thing about these bottles here is the fact that we also have a little dropper here so we can drop the amount of cabbage juice that we want into our experiments. The same with our liquefied ogres bogies. Also in the kit, you're going to get three smaller measuring cups. And what we want to do is we want to add a teaspoon of baking soda. Actually, we've put two spoonfuls of baking soda in. And so that we don't cross-contaminate our chemicals, I'm going to use a different spoon for my citric acid. And you will find if we have a ratio of two to one, then we get a perfect reaction. So I had two spoonfuls of baking soda there. I'm just going to use one spoonful of citric acid there. You might think that we're only using a small amount of powder at the moment, but the first thing is let's see what happens and then if you want it to be more dramatic, then you can add more powder. Uh, we're going to need some water. Now you could call your water the elixir of life. We want to make sure that we're using the same amount every time we do the experiments. So this is why we use measuring cylinders. So I'm going to put one full measuring cylinder full of water there and I'm going to use one full measuring cylinder there. I could have used this little cup here to do my measurements as well. Powder is called a base. As a liquid, it's an alkali. That's a weak alkali. I know this because of we, we're able to eat it. It doesn't taste very nice. This here is also a weak acid. It's called citric acid, it's a powder. At home, we also have liquid acids. This one here is vinegar. You can use both in this experiment. This one is smelly, this one isn't. Okay. 
Now, we've got our dragon's drawl. We want to do some magic. Also in the kit, you'll see this. This is an amazing pop-up magical wand. You want to very carefully hide it under your thumb in your hands. We're going to do some magic today. Whoa, <laughs> I nearly missed that. Obviously, you're going to have to practice what you're doing there. We could say abracadabra, but this is going to be uh, a love enchantment. So we're going to choose the word amortensia, and you can wave your hands around. Whenever magicians are working, they actually use a lot of mathematics and they look at probability. Now, if I have a whole room full of people, boys and girls, you'll tend to find that if you ask the boys and the men their favorite color, well, what do you think it would be? The majority. Keep that color in your head. And then if we think about the girls, Think about the majority of girls. What would be their favorite color? Not your favorite color, because it might be different. Think about the majority. And then we're going to let them know that we're going to do a magic spell. It's always much more fun using pipettes rather than just dropping from the bottle. So what we're going to do, first of all, the same. We're gonna choose two volunteers. And we're not going to let them know that they're going to be in love until they are with us because the majority of people think this idea of being in love is a bit disgusting. This is going to be the boy. And then you say to the boy, we're going to try to do some magic here. And if this magic works, then potentially you two could fall in love. And so I want you to tell me, what is your favorite color? Hopefully they're going to shout out blue. And if they do shout out blue, then this is going to happen. So you're going to go abracadabra, alakazam. We want blue in your hands. And we get blue. They may have said another color. And then you go, oh, that, my magic has gone wrong. But let's go over to the next volunteer. And our next volunteer is a girl. And we're going to say, what is your favorite color? And the girl is hopefully going to say, shout it out. <coughs> Pink, abracadabra, alagazam, we want pink in your hands. Again, they may have said green or, or grey or something. We just thought, well, obviously magic doesn't always work. But look, we've gone from having a purple colour to blue and pink. <clears throat> if they are in love, then these two chemicals will mix together and they will go back to the color purple because people in love, purple is a good color, good, good smiley feeling, but also there's going to be a little bit of excitement. So you need to make sure you have a tray here. Now I'm just using small beakers here. You can use bigger beakers and you're gonna get your volunteers to lift them up. And while they're pouring into the middle cup, you are going to do your amortensia spell. Amortensia! And they're going to pour them in. <laughs> We've gone back to purple. It's been neutralized and we got lots of fizz. When that happens, you can say to them, oh my goodness, you are now in love and everyone can give them a big clap and you can take a bow. Or you can take the story further. You don't want to be in love. We are going to have to use the anti-amortensia spell. We're going to use our spoon and we're going to place, again, some baking soda, two spoonfuls of baking soda into our pot. I'm putting the lid back on. We're then going to put how many spoonfuls of citric acid? Mm -hmm. One spoonful. If you're going to be using bigger containers, then you can use more of more crystals and more powder. We're going to put in one measure of water there and one measure of water there. 
and this time we're going to have to use the liquefied ogres bogies. Squirt the bulb, put it in, lift it up and we're going to put in a big squirt of liquefied ogres bogies. This is the science behind a bath bomb. Soap, citric acid, and if you look at a bath bomb, it doesn't say baking soda, it says sodium hydrogen carbonate. That's its chemical name. So let's give those both a stir. Now, we're going to test the colors again. We're going to get blue when we're in baking soda. We're going to get red when we have an acid. Let's test the washing up liquid now. So we're gonna put some into the washing up liquid. And we get a lovely blue color there. Like baking soda, washing up liquid is an alkali. It neutralizes acids. Put them in there. Now, let's see what happens when these are all mixed together. So we have that anti amortensia spell, and we're going to pour these all in. <laughs> And this time we have it really foamy. It's your story. You can make up any names and any combinations that you wish for it to be your spell. If you want to be a little bit more scientific, you can use a test tube rack. Into this test tube, I'm going to put some washing soda. There we go into this one here i'm going to put some of my baking soda into the next one i'm going to put in some of my citric acid and into the last one i'm going to put some of my vinegar and then we're going to top them up with a little bit of water. I could have been more scientific there and used my measuring cylinder to make sure they all had the same amount. I'm going to put some of my dragon's drool, my cabbage juice in there and I am going to put some of my washing up liquid in there. Using the pipette, let us put in some of our dragon's drool into our containers. And just so that you can see the colors a little bit more clearly, I'm going to put up some white paper behind them. So in our washing soda, we get a lovely greeny blue color. In our baking soda, we have a blue color. And then in both the citric acid and the vinegar, we have got a pink color. If we want the colors to be a little bit darker, then we can use more of our dragon's drool. The reason we call the cabbage juice red cabbage is years ago, before we had electricity and before we could keep cabbages for a long time in the fridge, they used to pickle it in vinegar. And when they pickled it in vinegar, it turned this lovely reddy pink color. Right, so let's start mixing some of these chemicals together. And to this one here, we're going to put the washing soda and the citric acid. Let's pour in our washing soda. Ooh. And then in goes our citric acid. Ooh. Now, we had a small fizz, but it was just a very gentle fizz. Let us now see what happens when we have baking soda with vinegar and we produce many more bubbles. And that's because we've got a carbonate section on our sodium hydrogen carbonate. 
and when the vinegar, when an acid, citric acid or vinegar reacts with our baking soda, it reacts and produces a fantastic fizz, giving us the gas carbon dioxide. I hope you've enjoyed the spell. I hope you enjoy playing. And now after all the fun, I'm going to have to clean up this mess. Thank you. Bye.